You look you? so pretty today. No, you. No, you. No, you. Okay, me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Don't cough on me. <laughs> okay, cough, but turn that way. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right, so this is episode... 31. <laughs> 32. Mm -hmm. You get the ding this, okay. this time. <laughs> episode Welcome 32. Welcome back, everybody, mm -hmm. to episode 32 of Podcast On mm -hmm. with Barb and Cynthia, local yarn shop owners in yeah. Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Wow, good See, I job. Sh I should introduce it like that every time. You should, every time. Yeah. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we are, though. We're coming to you today from our shop in Edmonton. Mm -hmm little different part of the shop today. Yeah, why is that, Barb? Well, we've spent, it seems like months, but it's only been like about three or four weeks reorging our entire store. We're now organized by brand as opposed to uh, weight of mm -hmm. yarn. We used yeah. to be organized by weight. But what we're realizing is that with social media, there's so many people now that recognize brands and they come in and they ask for a particular brand or a pattern or a yarn from a brand. And so we thought we would try this as a way to, um, you know, organize our yarns. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I think um, our brands all have such a unique story mm -hmm. to tell. Every one of them has, you know, a reason why we bring them in and why we buy them. So we thought that's a really kind of acknowledgement to the brand, too, mm -hmm. uh, to be able to tell their story and showcase all the yarns that they have to provide to to sell right that we bring in well i think it's it's part another another good reason for doing something like this because we we often change up the store right and that's you know to help our customers and us remember all the things that we have yes so each time you come into the yarn shop it's, it's a bit like having a brand new experience mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um so yeah this this has been quite a dramatic change yes. in the yeah. shop i mean obviously we haven't changed the physical space but the way that the yarns are arranged really mm -hmm. changes the look and mm -hmm. feel when you come in the door yeah yeah and it's nice to be able to display uh books along with the yarns yeah and garments too we spend so mm -hmm. much time yeah. knitting up garments yeah. right cynthia so yeah. This way we can kind of put little um, hangers up and in each section and kind of display the garments that we've yeah. spent hours and hours <laughs> knitting up, right, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. along with the yarn. So it's really, I think it's going to be fun. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to see what, what you think when you come in. Let us know what you think about that. Right. So we, we thought about doing another tour of the shop, and then we thought, well, maybe we'll just like maybe find a different position over the next six mm -hmm. months and uh show, talk to you a little bit about mm -hmm. the yarns that are what's behind in our vicinity as well as what we've got to show you that's brand new and yeah. exciting in the shop yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll do another tour we're just waiting for some signage to come in mm -hmm. we're going to have signs above each one of our grids to that say the name of the yarn company right. yeah or the designer we've got a lot of grids that are uh, designated specifically to indie dyers. Mm -hmm. so I think it's going to be a fun fall. Right. We'll see how it goes. It's also kind of the way the yarns are organized. It's one of the ways that the yarns are organized on our online store. So mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to be able to you know, see that. what's behind us and then go to the online store and see all the different colors and qualities of mm -hmm. the yarns that are there. Yeah. All right. I think we have it by weight online too, though, right? We do. So someone, mm -hmm. if you wanted to look for... DK, right? You could hit that, and yeah. everything populates. Yeah. Remind yeah. me to talk about that a little bit later because I want to tell you what I was doing last night in the wee Ooh. hours of the morning on the website. Couldn't sleep again. Well, well, it's a long story, but basically, you know, we do a newsletter twice a month, and uh, Barb will do her part of the newsletter, and then she shoots it to me, and I I add stuff to the newsletter. So my job is really to write about workshops. And I do uh, quite a bit of editing, um, especially that word color. Which, anyway, yeah. I can't seem to spell color with a U. It just doesn't work for me. But <laughs> well, or I spell it with a U consistently. Yes, I try really hard. Do I get points for trying you hard? You do. Every month okay. there's fewer fewer changes that I make, so you do. You get lots of points for that. And um, and I go in and I add links to the pictures and you know things yes. like that. But anyway, I was working on the workshop section and I realized that I needed to do some more stuff on the online store, 
with with regard to that. So oh. can I just tell you what I did now? Sure. Okay. So um, we have moved all of our workshops over to our online store. This makes it an easier process right. for people who want to register because they can use PayPal or, you know, not a credit card if you want to do that, and also credit cards. And uh, so we had moved them over and we organized them by month because that's how we'd organize them on our um on Other our web page, yeah. yeah. And so yesterday, Heather was in working, and she went and put new tags. We had discussed this before. She put new tags on all the workshops. So last night, we added another category. So now you can shop workshops by month or by type. So we've got workshops organized wow. by, you know, workshops for beginners. Yep. We've got skill building workshops. We have advanced techniques. We have holiday projects. Um, we have a health and wellness area. So, um, so that's that's, that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, it was so a lot of fun. So you were in last night just perusing and I was, looking it up. I was uh, I was setting up uh, categories on the online store, which is trickier than you might think. Um, and I didn't want to bug anybody, so I was figuring it out on my own. And then once I'd done that, because Heather had put tags on all the workshops, I had to remove some of the workshops from uh, the online store because they weren't happening. And oh, I didn't yeah. want to have workshops there Confusion. that had, you know, old dates. Like, you know, what does May mean? Is that a past workshop or is that May coming up for 2020? Oh, so, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was a little bit of cleanup that I had to do mm -hmm. afterwards. And then nice. Aya has been putting in these beautiful photographs. So if you go and look at our workshops, all the pictures are the same size. We have some new pictures now, too. Oh, you that model makes for, such a difference. It does. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Really? I mean, if, you're, if you want to look at something and, you know, all the pictures are different sizes, it just, it just doesn't look neat and organized. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, we like to, we like to be neat and organized. Yes. That's just part of who we are. So... The website reflects that, and we're so happy. I'm so happy. You know, those pictures. Some people gorgeous. would call it anal. <laughs> some, but some people would, but then they just they just wouldn't understand right? what it's like yeah. to be from a German family. <laughs> yeah, we walk the straight and narrow. Yeah, this reminds me when when we were little, when we lived we we lived we grew up on a holiday trailer resort, and our mom used to write a newsletter once a year. She'd write a poem. And uh, we'd send it out to all the customers at the lake, right? And I remember going into Onaway with Dad with all these letters and envelopes, and he would go into the post office and buy stamps. Then they came in sheets at that time. Mm -hmm. And then he would carefully fold them, and we would lick all the little stamps and put them on, and he'd say to me, make sure that the stamp is, you know, that the same amount of space at the top of the envelope. Like, do you remember this about our dad? Yes. Yeah. He, he liked everything to be just, just so. Yeah. And on all the addresses were handwritten on the well, envelopes. I really think that that's something to be proud of. You know, because anybody can do a sloppy job, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the care and precision that it... And, yes. you know, I think, yeah, I, I feel the same way about ball bands and labels. Yes. They all have to be, you know, facing the same way. And right. I, we had a staff meeting just recently, and that was a topic of discussion was, mm -hmm. you know, that when you go to restock, you have to make sure that all the ball bands are facing in in another in the right direction. Well, and you know what? When I go to yarn shopping, I don't like to buy a a ball of yarn that has a ripped label or a, you know or doesn't have a label mm -hmm. or yeah, you know it's it's a important part. I think of the whole aesthetic for sure. And I think when we go to yarn shops and we see you know really nicely neat organized mm -hmm. yarn shops, we we like to say to the yarn shop owner, you know, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You've done a great job of this because it's there's a lot of work involved here is. in keeping all those balls of yarn nice and neat. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Now, when your staff goes. Um, oh, sorry, you can't buy that because you'll wreck my display. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's thing. a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but but that you wouldn't you wouldn't find that here. No, no. They would just take the they would just go to the back and get mm -hmm. yarn from the box. Exactly. Rather than wreck the display. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, anyways, anyways, the ins and outs mm -hmm. of yarn store right? merchandising. Right. Right. Yeah. 
So another thing that we have that we do at, at our yarn shop is we have our own line of yarn mm -hmm. and we do a lot of pattern development. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to do talk, you about, talk that about that first? <laughs> I'd love to. Okay. I'd love to. Maybe I'll talk because this is about all I'm probably going to be able to say. Sure. And I'll have to be quiet. And then I'll take. Over. I'll start coughing. Okay. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, we just published a brand new pattern. Well, and people are seeing it because I'm seeing uh, people buying it on, must mm -hmm. be on Ravelry then. Yeah, I loaded up to Ravelry. I sent the copy to the printer, so we'll have print copies on Tuesday. Oh, good. Um, this is a brand new pattern by Lucy Meepy. She designed a hat called the MVP hat, and this is done out of our touchdown line. This is the yarn that has the really long color repeat. Right. Yeah, we talked about it before with oh, yeah. gridiron, and so we did a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the baby hat. Oh, mm -hmm. that's cute too. I wonder if it'll fit on there. Probably not. But look nope. at the the neat flashing of yarn. You see the yeah. big black, and the orange sections, and the white. Mm -hmm. That's you know that happens when you get this pooling happening when you have a certain number of stitches on and so every time yeah. your stitches change the pattern changes it's so cool yeah and so this one's got the um, mitered squares too right. for the brim so we we asked Lucy to design a hat for us in touchdown mm -hmm. and she said sure she'd love to send her please the most colorful yeah. yarn in our collection and so we sent her BC uh, because it's orange and black and white, and we thought yeah. she'd like that, and she did. And so uh, Lucy's, Lucy is, we love Lucy's designs because she's always thinking about the color and how to, how to best show off mm -hmm. all the colors in a variegated yarn. And so what she did was start with mitered squares, and these mitered squares actually form the band that goes around your head, so it's kind of a self-sizing pattern. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to take a lot of measurements, you can just create this band. I'm doing that right here Yay. until it fits around your head. This is the back side. And uh, I started a second tier just because I wanted to, just because I wanted to. But anyway, you, you make this band until it fits around your head. And then you pick up stitches along the base of it and you knit the rest of the hat. Very so cool. it's very warm because this section here is double yeah, layer. Yeah, it's all double line. Yeah. And then the other part of the story that I think is so much fun is that when we went to do the photo shoot, mm -hmm. we wanted to incorporate some family members in it because that's what we're all about. Yeah. And so our nephew's wife and daughter, She's uh, so beautiful. Mira and Alicia, um, participated in this one. So we mm -hmm. have the mom and baby uh, wearing the hats, and they were just so much fun. Yes. Um, Alicia is a little two-year-old fireball, 18-month-old fireball, and yeah. but she was so good at the photo shoot. She just... She was, aced this hat, didn't she? She did, yeah. yeah. But it's I do so think that, that hat is too... It's too... Um, too small? Too small for that one. Oh, yeah. So that's a brand new pattern. It's available on Ravelry, and we have print copies here in the store, and it uses touch and... Oh, leave that there. <laughs> but you could also knit this hat in hat trick. It would look really good. And I'm using, you know, a, a partial ball of touchdown. And I thought if I run out, what I would probably do is finish off the hat in a solid black. Because mm. I think that would look really cool too to yeah. have the to have the band here, um, you know, show off on a solid background. Did you ever, when you were young, did you ever read Archie comics? Yeah. You think this looks like a Jughead hat? Yeah, it does. Do. It does. And it the, very the, cool as a Jughead hat. Yeah, the Jughead hat, the points are going up like this. Oh, right. Because um, I go to Comic-Con and I've mm -hmm. seen a few Jughead hats. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I think there is a little bit of a feeling like that. Here. And these black almost look like eyes. Oh, mm -hmm. oh that's very Halloween, isn't mm -hmm. it? Okay. What do you so need the hat we, for? I'll show you because we're not done. Okay. Um, before our next podcast comes out, I think we will have this pattern. We don't have this one done yet, though. You're going to show. This one, yeah. Well, we're we're coming out with it. Oh. So the photography's done. Uh, we're working on the pattern design, and I think probably by October we'll have this one out. So oh, I wanted okay. to I want to show it off while I can. So Take this one is chance. This one is gridiron. Um, this is the this is the adult size hat, and then we have a smaller version as well. So you remember gridiron socks? Have a pair of those here too. 
These are the socks that Kate Atherley designed for us. Mm -hmm. And this is... They have the cool stripes running up them. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you really do need touch down to knit mm -hmm. because you need to have that long um, color repeat in there to be able to do them properly. Mm -hmm. So she designed hat and fingerless mittens. This is the men's size, so you might find they're a little loose on you, Ooh. but try those on. I'll put yeah, these ones on. You're not going to get those on. I am, I am. I I have small hands. <laughs> yeah. oh. You made me laugh. Okay, so um, there's fingerless gloves mm -hmm. and a hat, and I've done a baby hat too. Oh, cute. Yeah. So for Very this cute. photo shoot, we use some friends of my daughter's who are... Um, who are just, they're so funny. There's a couple, and so, and because this is a football-inspired yarn, we had them kind of sparring with each other. And I think the photos just, the photos were just, they were fun. It was a fun photo shoot, and they, this couple was really um, energetic and yeah, um, a lot of fun. fun to hang out with. And so that was, that was a real blast to do that one. Andrew and... Christina. Christina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that should be out... By the time we do our next podcast, Ooh. and so should this one. Oh my that gosh, one. look at this, you guys. Mm -hmm. So here's some color work for those of you who are fans of Fair Isle and mm -hmm. Intarsia. Yeah. This is Little Goose Toque. Correct. By Edmonton designer Jesse McKittrick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be coming out with that one just in time for fall as the geese are flying uh, back to their southern... Yeah, locations. We'll be wearing our hats and waving goodbye to them as I see you in the spring. Geese. So this is really pretty. It's got little pine trees mm -hmm. along the bottom and then the geese. And the white is supposed to be like clouds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And this Very is done nice. in hat trick semi-solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to get some hats that had some different techniques, some easy ones and some ones that were that we could teach workshops around too, That's right? That's right, yeah. 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 So... Three designs coming out in the next little while um, before before our next podcast. I'm really, really happy that we've got... Those um, are lovely. Again, um, Alicia and Mira were photographed in these mm -hmm. ones. So Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say about the patterns? Um, they will They will all be available on Ravelry. We'll have print, print copies in the store. So if you are ordering online... If you're ordering, a, you know, Touchdown or um, Hat Trick Semi Solids and you want uh, a print copy of the pattern sent with your yarn order, um, you can order all of that off our online store. Good. And if you just want an electronic version of the pattern, uh, you can get that off of uh, Ravelry. And um, again, you know, uh, uh, if you want to do this one, we used Hat Trick Semi Solid in this one. If you want to do anything that involves gridiron with this pattern in it, this is uh, by Kate Atherley in Toronto. Uh, you will need to purchase the touchdown yarn. It just it just works. It just works with that yarn. That's indicated in the pattern, though, right? It is. Yeah. And then if you want to do uh, the MVP hat, um, this one will work with touchdown or Hat Trick. Mm -hmm. So everybody's been busy. When did Lucy start designing that? Like, I just want to give everybody a sense of sort of the timeline that it takes to to actually have something ready to go on to Ravelry. Yeah, you it's know, been, I don't remember when we sent her the yarn, but it, it was a know, long time ago. Yeah, like months. I think, well, you know, when you think about it, you, you put the yarn in the hands of the designer, they'll probably take anywhere from one month to three months to come up with a design. They send us the sample and the, you know, the draft pattern. We We put... We put that to our technical editors. We try and get some test knitting done on it so mm -hmm. we can have a few samples. And then we line up photography. Uh, we do all the, you know, all the photography and the graphic. Um, put the up layout the pattern. And, mm -hmm. and proofread it yeah. and then proofread it again. It's probably like having, test knit it. having a baby. It's like a nine-month kind of process. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah, so there you go. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I just, I, I thought... This would be a great opportunity to show all these things. and, mm -hmm. um, and So we're uh, going to go out with Hat Month pretty soon, Yeah. Right? yeah well, yeah. you know, September, October, the, the weather is getting chillier. And, and then I, it's also a time when we start to get back into our sports. Mm -hmm. So what better way to represent your team or to show your team colors than mm -hmm. by putting it on your head? Yeah. Right? Well, yeah, it's really nice. I mean, 
when you're at that football game, you know, in order to take your boots off to show your socks. Right. It's a bit of an effort. This yes. way you can just wear your hat. That's right. <laughs> and then, so, you know, you can weave it in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have one more hat to show, too. Okay. It's part of Flash Mob. Yes. Can we do yes. that? Absolutely. Okay. Show us. I'll, right. I'll, I'll take a, I'll let my voice have a rest. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. yeah. So this is, um, our next Flash Mob is Libra. And so it's everybody who's born sort of like the end of August and the beginning of September. No. No. I think end of September, beginning of October. Okay. So yeah, um, so this one, we look to Christy from Sugar Tots. She's a local Edmonton yarn dyer and bag maker and jewelry maker. She does the most beautiful little mm -hmm. charms yeah. out of Fimo clay. So she designed these two for us, Cynthia. Oh, so, isn't that gorgeous? Yes. This is our next. This is for Libra. So this is a DK base. Christy said, what would you like? And I said, what do you have? And she said, well, I have this new DK coming in. And with winter coming, it's so nice to have DK hats and mitts. Mm -hmm. They're so much better than something that's, you know, thinner here in Edmonton because, you know, it gets cold here. Oh, yeah. And we like to knit DK at a fairly tight gauge, too, so that these mittens are warmer. But when you're doing them out of fingering, sometimes they can be just a little light. Chunky mitts can be a little chunky for driving. So I love a DK mm -hmm. mitten for mm -hmm. warmth and for functionality. And so she... Um, this is amazing. This feels so I know. squishy. She got a base, and you guys... It's, too bad we don't have touch of vision or feel of vision <laughs> um, because these are so nice and squishy yes. and soft. And then, of course, this is classic sugar tots speckles <laughs> on here. Mm -hmm. These are, it's sort of like a creamy, taupey, minty base with beautiful pink and copper and green speckles. Really, really pretty. And this emerald green one, this is called Emerald Fields. This has speckles in it too, you guys. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. The ones that show up the most are the really goldy colored ones. Just yeah, really pretty. It does. It gives it depth and uh, kind of texture mm -hmm. in terms of color. Yeah. What's your favorite? If you had to pick one. Oh, I couldn't. I, I want them both. I mean, I especially now that I see the hat. Yeah. But what I love about this one is its name. This one's called Bohemian. Yes. And um, in addition to being German, we also have a bit of a Bohemian background, too. <laughs> Our mother always both, said she was Bohemian. Yeah. Which is now, you know, part of the Czech Republic. And so yeah. might explain the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Maybe, but, yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah, are you... And you really can't pick. Well, you need and so both. we started doing that, even did a little survey amongst our own uh, folks that work here. And it was pretty much split down the middle. I think maybe this one won out a little bit more, the lighter one. But I think it's still because we finally got a little bit of nice weather. Oh. It was summery here. But I think, um, well, it's hard to say. So what we did was we couldn't decide. So we thought we'd offer them in pairs. Christy didn't... Um, have we didn't have as much as we usually do for our flash mobs, so we got a little bit less yarn this month. So we wanted to make sure that as a Libra, you got both uh, colorways that she's designed. So we're offering them up, up in pairs. Okay. If we have any left over, we'd be happy to split them up. I know you're going to ask, can I buy this one or that one? So if we have any left over, we'll definitely split them up. But for the first week or two, I think we're going to offer them up it's just as pairs. Christy also knit up a hat for us because I said to her, you know, it'd be really nice to have a pattern. And she said, well, what would you like? And I said, well, you know, you choose because she's dyeing this yarn. She knows what's going to go well with it. So she picked a super pattern. This one is called the Novemberist Hat, and it's by Vanessa Smith. So if you're on Ravelry, have a look for it. It's a paid pattern, and it's shown in all kinds of uh, different colorways. People mm -hmm. have used um, this pattern. It's really pretty because she's got just kind of a diagonal wave to it and then a little bit of a line. It reminds me of gridiron, too, because mm -hmm. it's got this line running down it. And um, it's done with two skeins. There's also uh, a hand warmer pattern oh, on sweet. it, too. So you'll have lots left over. 
Uh, if you got the two skeins, I'm sure you could do a hat and even maybe a couple pair of hand warmers or mm -hmm. fingerless gloves. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is add a little pom-pom and away you go. You've got a, a suggestion or an idea. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to go on sale September 20th, okay. yep. 6 p.m. <clears throat> on our online store. And then if you guys have a chance to check out the bracelets, I think we still have a few Libra bracelets left. Mm -hmm. People are buying them in advance now because we have all the bracelets out. Because you can. Well, that's smart. Yeah, so they're getting them. And so um, mm -hmm. if we run out, don't worry. Um, Carrie from A New Rain is going to be making us more. Oh, perfect. So we're going to have a whole uh, restock on those shortly. Perfect. And Carrie's a local jewelry designer too which is, is which is really nice it's this is I mean, again you know this program of bringing in indie dyed yarn and mm -hmm. supporting local makers in terms of doing this once a month flash mob kind yeah. of thing is really um it's so really much nice. fun you know we kind of started this when we did our last knit for fun well, our last couple knit for fun retreats mm -hmm. and it's been so much fun um, Carrie was actually at the Knit for Fun mm -hmm. retreat and she designed all sorts of great jewelry items. She also makes a beautiful shawl pin for us. I have to check and see if that's online or not. But it's made out of hammered aluminum. They're so pretty, you guys. They look, they stand the out. Yarn ball. Yeah, really pretty on, um, on any piece that you use. And they're lightweight. You can um, tie up, you know, a cowl or a chunky scarf or yeah. even lace weight. They're really, really great pieces, mm -hmm. and those are from her. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, it's really fun having them help us out and participate yeah. in these. They create these really unique pieces. Um, the only other way that you get to see them would be on Etsy, and I think by, by doing what you're doing, by you know buying in bulk from, a, from an indie dyer, mm -hmm. allows them to make an investment in their business as well. Absolutely. Because they're not just selling one skein here and one skein there. They're, yeah. You know, you, they, we've given them a commitment to buy a, a lot. Yeah, right? I think I've talked to a lot of the indie dyers, and they love that because... You know, selling at shows, too, there's only so many shows. Okay. And you have to prepare so much yarn for it. So this is an opportunity to do some custom work, which they love to do. Right. And do it when you've got a bit of downtime in their schedule, too. So it's great for them. It can help fill in spots. Great. In their dive queue. Yeah. So look for more. We're going to come up with, a, we've, we've come up with a really great theme for 2020. Right. So we've got two more big <coughs> flash mobs this year. And then we're on to the new theme. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So that's always right. something new happening here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So do you want to see a few new yarns? I do. We have a few new yarns. I know this one. I, 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 have a, I have an inkling that they're going to be luscious. Yes. Yeah. They are luscious. Okay. So, you know, a certain percentage of our, our stock goes to, you know, everyday wearable, hardy yarns washable, baby, kid-friendly, that kind yeah. of thing. The other portion of our budget goes to luxury yarns. Mm -hmm. We have um, a customer group who loves luxury yarns. Well, it's kind of, again, you know, a yarn shop has a bit of a responsibility, I believe. Yes. To bring in as wide a platform as possible right. without, you know, without spending every penny well, that you've got. Yes, we have to save some for needles and notions. <laughs> but we, we and really, salaries and rent and payroll. Yeah. <laughs> well, that too. Yeah. But we do. We like new yarns, and that's because you like new yarns, mm -hmm. and you like luxury fiber, and mm -hmm. you love cashmere. You know, we sell a lot of cashmere here in our shop. And why not? You know, shouldn't you just have the very best yarn that there is running through your hands? I mean, how much time do we have during the day or, or evening to knit? Mm -hmm. And if you've got limited time, if you're busy, and we know you are, you need to have the very nicest yarn running through your fingers all the time. We joke and we say, you know, life is short, knit with cashmere, mm -hmm. and it's true. So what we have here today are a couple of luscious yarns. One of them has cashmere in it, a lot of cashmere. Mm -hmm. So let's start with that one. Yeah. Um, have you had a chance, gorgeous. Cynthia, to knit with this yet? No. no. I've sold a ton of it, though, because every, every time you pick this up and you talk about it, so there was a customer in yesterday, she wanted to make some baby hats, some preemie baby hats, oh, and she was 
Yeah. yeah. So we were talking about you know, being single stranded and being double stranded, and mm -hmm. um, she was also looking at the Shibuya yarns. And yes. so, you yeah. know, for that for that very special person in your life, which which should be you as well. Yeah. This is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Now, Rowan has changed their labels. <laughs> so, their labels used to be white with dark print. Now they're dark with dark print. And so for those of us who, you know, have issues at the is, best of the time. It is a little tricky. Um, so do you want me to tell you what this is? Well, I know what this is, okay. but I was um, wondering what the percentage is. Yeah. And I'll, uh... I'm pretty sure that this has 30% cashmere. You'll correct me if I'm wrong. I know I know you will. Uh, but this is baby alpaca, cashmere, and silk. You're right. Am 40 I right? percent alpaca, 30 percent cashmere, 30 percent silk. There you go. So 30 percent cashmere, you guys, is decadent. I love a yarn that has five percent. A yarn that has ten is even nicer. But 30, that's amazing. And then mm -hmm. you need the silk in here too to give it some strength and some shine. And the alpaca, well, that just adds you know, halo and softness, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. so it's beautiful. So this is this is like holding a little baby bird in your hand. Aww. It's just so, so or maybe like a little tiny kitten because it weighs nothing. It's twenty or a bunny, grams. or a bunny. Yeah, and you just you know, it's just like oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I did get a chance to knit with it. We um, were gifted a skein of this in. Um, you were gifted a skein. No, we all. Remember we got one in our Rowan bags when we went to convention? I think you stole mine. <laughs> well, I did. I had I think, to because I, I needed to make this sweet you sample. Took mine. That's right. I mean, we might have we might have traded. Maybe it wasn't a steal. It was a yeah. trade. Maybe it was just Anyways. like, I'm, I'm older than you, so I get it. Get it. Keep going. I'm sorry. Stop interrupting. Are you done? <laughs> all right. Maybe. Keep going. All right. So this, this little cowl is just super simple. It's a 10 by 10 rib. I wanted something that was easy to do and um, very repeatable and something that was sort of reversible. And this, this is, but it, on the inside it shows kind of the lines where I changed colors. So it's not, it's not reversible. But um, when you wear it and when you wrap it, um, it sometimes gets the other side showing on the on public side. Mm -hmm. So... Um, it's as close to reversible as you can get. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with no, showing no, the line. No. So this cowl can be worn double, or it can be worn single as just a long loop. And I just held two colors together, so one of each strand, to do the marled effect on the bottom. And I did it for about three or four inches, and then stopped, and then went on and held two strands of the black together. And then two strands of the cream. So it's mm -hmm. a very simple pattern. We're going to be putting it out uh, later this month. Oh, right. it's a yeah, free yeah. pattern. Yeah. And we'll um, really try soon. it. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to use a couple balls of cashmere haze. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. Yeah. And the marl, this this marl effect is so oh, popular nice. right now. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really nice to be able to make your own, right? You don't have to buy it that way. You just hold two strands together. Right, yeah. And this is a lace weight yarn. And I think I noticed on the pattern that you used six millimeter needles. I did, yeah. Mm. Just to get a, you know, a little bit more loft. I, you know, maybe I would go down to a five if I was going to do it again. I don't know. I but think I think the... You know, the more air that you trap in between those stitches, the warmer it is, mm -hmm. and um, and the softer and and lighter, you know, it yeah. feels. It felt like it needed a six. You know, I, I think I did a little testing when we were on our trip, mm -hmm. and uh, and then it's just it's really fun because you can just kind of wrap it around, and then you get all that coziness yeah. right next to your neck, and yeah, it's not gorgeous. Bad. Yeah, this would make your cough feel better. <laughs> Sorry, uh, <laughs> I made her laugh. She did. She's she's wicked that way. All right, so okay. so this is one new yarn from Rowan, and then this is the other. So this is mm -hmm. Island Blend, mm -hmm. and this one is wool, silk, and alpaca. Mm -hmm. And again, Cynthia will let us know what the percentages are. But this wool comes from the Falkland Islands. 
And I didn't know this, but the Falkland Islands are known for their wool production. Mm -hmm. They've got, you know, really a lot of history that goes back into producing wool mm -hmm. from specific sheep. And um, this was lovely. I think we should travel there. Doesn't it sound like a place to put on your travel list? Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is 70% wool, 15% alpaca, and 15% silk. Lovely yeah. blend. And, and I again, love the skin of it, too. so squishy and mm. soft. We have these little leaves. Um, if anybody wants this pattern, just contact me, and I'll give it to you. But Rowan now has a little leaf pattern, and we've been knitting all of our samples for mm -hmm. our store in <laughs> leaves because mm -hmm. they're just fun to make. Yeah. And yeah. what a great way to showcase how the yarn looks in stockinette stitch and in a lace pattern. Mm -hmm. So this one right here is Island Blend. Yes. And doesn't it feel nice? Yeah. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I, I love this. Mm -hmm. It's so it's so pretty and dainty and it's a nice way to display the yarn. Yeah. And then, you know, afterwards, that could almost be your signature. If you, if you knit a scarf, you could just sew your... Sew the little leaf on. Yeah. Or there's a pattern now with a hat, plain hat, but it's got these leaves sewn on it. And oh, it looks so pretty. That's really nice. So, yeah. yeah, just buy some and knit up these leaves. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the colors, too, because, you you know, mm. these, these ones came out in the, kind of like in the mode collection colors. Right, yeah. And um, we I just chose a few, you mm -hmm. know, to start out with. Um, these colors are just kind of, I think, classic. And it's neutral, mm -hmm. right? Yes, neutral, but a new neutral. Right. I mean, this has a pink undertone to it. Right. So it's not a cream or an ivory. It's got a pink base right. to it. And so you can wear this with anything. Mm -hmm. you, can, you know, you can wear it with... We can wear it with black, obviously. You can wear it with grays. You can wear it with blues. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's really hard to find those those neutrals that still contain a little bit of color. And I always say, you know, there's something about Rowan colors. They have colors that nobody else has. Mm -hmm. So these are true Rowan shades. Yeah. You, know, you won't find them in other lines. This one, too, is a, a dark color. It's as close to black as they have. But it's got a blue-purple undertone to it. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to see on the camera. But when you're looking at it, again, it's one of those neutrals, like Cynthia says, that's going to go with everything in your wardrobe. Yeah, it's and got it's, a grapey kind of mm -hmm. look to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's not going to um, uh, blend in. You know, like when you wear... A lot of people wear a lot of black. Mm -hmm. And so when you're knitting something, if you knit something black, and you put it on black, it just fades away. Right. But this is not going to fade away. This is going to pop out. It's going to stand out even on black. You know what else is nice about this shade of black? Is that if you have pets, and lots of us do, mm -hmm. uh, dogs or cats, you know, people come into the store wearing black and they've got cat hair all over them. When, <laughs> I, mean, I don't have a cat anymore, but I used to, we used to leave a um, lint brush right by the door so nobody left the house without lint brushing first. Mm -hmm. But this color has that subtle shading in it that if you did have some cat hair on here, you wouldn't see it. It wouldn't pop out like a pure black does. So mm -hmm. I think not that's that. her story and she's sticking to it. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll get her with the gleaner. Before you go anywhere, <laughs> let me groom you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, so, so that's new from that's Rowan. That's new from Rowan. And then we have something, so Rowan is a UK company, mm -hmm. um, so that's from overseas. And then we have another, um, we have another overseas right. yarn to talk about. So we're kind of featuring two yarns every month that we want to talk about. The other one is Noro. And uh, we've been having some real fun knitting with Noro. Mm -hmm. We've carried Noro for quite a while, and the reason why we carry it is several but it's Japanese so it's got this really interesting aesthetic to it it's not like other yarns um, the colors are vibrant they change you've got a very long repeat which is perfect for some of the new patterns that everybody's knitting i.e. Andrea Maori mm -hmm. and the shift and the night shift you need a, a yarn with a long color repeat, and we love Noro for that reason. Right, and, and the colors are spun that way. Yes. So it's not it's not that they're dyeing the colors in these um, regular kind of repeats. They're spinning the colors together to That's create right. those long repeats. And so you may find that from one ball to the next, you're getting slightly different amounts mm -hmm. of each color. 
I saw a video once where they had um, huge piles of dyed yarn. And so there was a pile of blue and a pile of pink and a pile of yellow. And it wasn't just, you know, wool. It was wool, alpaca, So these silk. are this is, these are piles of fiber, yes. like blended fibers. Right. Mm -hmm. And they were pushing them into the spinning machine. Right. So that's kind of how they were being made. And mm -hmm. it was just so cool. Yes. All died before it got spun. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So here's what we have from Noro to show you. This is the newest one we've got. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is called Ito. And so every ball is huge. There's four balls of Noro Curion. For those of you who are familiar with Curion, this is similar to that, uh, equivalent to four balls, but put up in one giant ball so that you can make some really neat things. All one continuous strand, so you have less ends, and it, they come wrapped with this beautiful, creamy signature wrapper. And I'm told that in Japanese, this means a uh, noro um, isika, is, isika, isika noro, which is the name of the company and the name of the founder, and then world of color. Mm -hmm. So they explain to our, our world of nature. Right. They explain the um, information about it on a little card, a mm -hmm. hang tag too. But what a really neat souvenir to have with every ball of yarn. Yeah. And I like this. It says here, Wabi Sabi embraces natural imperfections. The harmony of natural variation and original character of the fiber are preserved and delivered into your hands. So you know it's it's not um, it's a it's a singles yarn. So there's no plying in here, and some of the some of the you know it, it got, has a bit of a thick and thin, mm -hmm. slightly thick and thin kind of nature to it. Yeah. But look at how intense those colors are. Mm -hmm. And then where they've changed colors, you'll get a bit of a marl as it moves from yeah. one color into the next. Well, they're, they're just so pretty. So you know what would you make from that, right? That's the question. And the answer is lots of stuff. We yes. have one piece right here. We did um, Andrea Maori Night Shift, which is her bigger triangle shawl mm -hmm. from um, two colors of Noro Curion. Mm -hmm. So five balls of each. So somebody on uh, Ravelry, I think they said they used four balls. No, uh, two balls of this. Eight equivalent to Noro or to right. Curion. In two different colorways? In two different colorways uh, to make a night shift. We used a little bit more. We used probably three of these, uh, two and a half, right. to mm -hmm. make this. And it's really quite generous. But this is uh, such a fun piece to knit and so easy because you're doing knit to slip to. The pattern couldn't be simpler. Mm -hmm. And yet it looks like a ton of work. So this is one of those projects where you know, you get a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. And if you also, we've also been playing with doing this with one of these and some of the semi-solids. I just want to show off the building. back here too, because even, you know, the front is beautiful, but even the back is really nice and neat. And uh, yeah, you could wear it either way, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Yeah, sure could. That's the front? This is the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, that's the, the back. back. Yeah. Just got way more texture on this side. You could wear it either way. Yeah. Also, Diane from Brick Bubble is making us some new scarf um, cuffs. Oh, lovely. That go around and hold these pieces together. Yes, yes. So, yeah. I'm wearing one of her buttons. And anyway, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one on the table is really interesting, too. I'm just mm -hmm. going to show it. Uh, this is done with Noro yarns. Yeah, you look the yarns up. Okay. I'm going to this. And one skein of a Manos yarn. So this we used as the sort of multi in here. You can see in this section, the colors are shifting and changing. And that's from this yarn here. This is called Felix. Oh, sorry, F Feliz. Mm -hmm. Manos del Uruguay Feliz. This is another beautiful yarn that we love to carry in our shop. And we have a whole section just for Manos yarns. Mm -hmm. We love uh, the fact that they have been supporting women and women's cooperatives for years. Mm -hmm. And people have been making their living and sending their kids to school all through the support 
of knitters like yourself who are buying their yarn. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. Um, they do a beautiful job dyeing, and that's this section in here. And then we took a couple of other Noro yarns, Kumo and Sonata, and we started playing with them, them in this section. And you can see how the colors shift. This was our dots. This was our background color. And then here we brought in the Feliz again. We did this section. And then when we got to the end, we picked out a really beautiful turquoise color of Sonata mm. and mixed that and this one together. So you can see how when you switch them up, they just they change and they create striped sections that are just so different and so beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that's in the, this one is also a little bit lighter because this yarn is actually like a, I'd say a light sport weight. Or I, yeah, I'd say it's definitely a sport weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you could even knit it as a light DK. I think so, yeah. So th the different weights of yarn that you use just give you a different fabric or a different... Uh, right. Um, so this one isn't as large as the one... But you could, if you kept on going, you could make it as you could. large. You mm -hmm. could, for sure, yeah. yeah. So there you go, some ideas for you for inspiration mm -hmm. and color work and... Yeah, this has been really nice. So this is Night Shift. And the other one that's been really popular is um, is Shift, which is the cowl the cow, version. Yeah. yeah. Now, you don't have to just stop there. I mean, we've seen Noro Blankets. In fact, there's a new mm -hmm. Noro book out, a uh, new blanket book, yeah. that has you do mitered squares. You can use the same sort of um, mitered square pattern for Lucy's hat and do strips for a blanket. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then there's Tin Can Knits. They did that pop blanket right, yeah. many years ago. Yeah. So all you have to do is, you know, spend an hour or two on Ravelry, and there's tons of inspiration. Right. We'll also put those uh, links in our show notes. Uh, the book is called Noro Timeless uh, Noro Timeless Knit Blankets, mm -hmm. um, and um, and the pop blanket is uh, is a, available as a single pattern, mm -hmm. but it's also in uh, Tin Can Knit's Mad Color book. Right. Uh, yeah. Both are available on our online store, but we'll put we'll put links to mm -hmm. to the yarn and the and the patterns uh, in the show notes just below this screen that you're looking yeah. at. Yeah. So that's it for for new yarns okay. for this week. Um, but we have a couple of other things we want to show you. Yeah. Um, we have some new notion bags. Yeah, I've got those tucked down. Oh, they're just tucked under the table there. So while you're getting those, Barb, I'll, okay. I'll bring out the um, this box yes. with the kobasi in it. And um, I picked out... Okay, this is covers. fun. Mm -hmm. Cynthia and I found these little kits when we were at the show this year in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And we actually got to meet this lady, Sylvie. Yeah, so Sylvie is the um, is a person who came up with the idea for Addie's flexi flips, mm -hmm. and these are um, they're kind of like a cross between circular and double pointed needles. Mm -hmm. um, each each needle has a little bit of the flexi cord in between, so you can yep. bend them like this. And on one end of the needle, you get the sharp rocket or lace tip. And on the other end, you get the basic tip. So you can mm -hmm. flip them depending on which end you want to use. Your stitches, um, when you're knitting in the round, go on two of these needles. So you generally put half of your stitches on each of these two needles. And you use the third one to knit with. We have another video, which we'll link to, where we show you how to use these. And, um, and other Abby products as well for knitting in the round. Mm -hmm. And this is a knit along that um, Scassell, who's the... Um, who's the distributor or manufacturer for Addy in North America, mm -hmm. um, is doing in combination with Sylvie. And uh, so she's designed a pattern and she's going to release it in segments mm -hmm. um, over the course of a month. And you can register to knit along. And there's some really awesome prizes. Well, look at this sock pattern. Mm -hmm. I love this pattern. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a, like a lacy kind of leaf motif. Yeah, um, and it's done. So it's it's done using the uh, Addy Flexi Flips, and then uh, the or you could use Kobasi. GPNs or two Magic Loop too. Well, I think the idea is that they, they would like you to try them. Yes, and I you know I've I've tried them myself, but I you know the, the thing is that in order to really get used to something new like this, 
It's well, nice to complete a project. And I just read that Sylvie's going to show tips mm -hmm. on how to use these. Mm -hmm. So she's yep. also going to add more content in around. Um, so if you do have a pair of these, clue, uh, or tune in to the podcast or to her knit along. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah. And they've got some. They've got some really nice prizes. So I think like the the grand mm -hmm. prizes that you can pick any Addy uh, interchangeable knitting system and really yeah yeah wow yeah you have to register and fill in and you know fill in the form and send in a picture of your completed project mm -hmm. but yeah barb and i thought we would uh knit along mm -hmm. and um yeah. and have a bit of fun with that so they've got um kobasi is cotton bamboo and silk no wool with a little bit of um elastic thrown into the blend because mm. um, cotton, bamboo, and silk don't have memory. So when you wear them for, when you knit it up for socks, you need that elastic in there. And there's a ton of it in here. We use yeah. this all the time for our sports socks pattern mm -hmm. that yeah. you designed. And it's great. It's got lots of elasticity. Right. People even make, you know how sometimes you knit those um, gloves that are really tight for, you know, hand pain? Oh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and um, so people even make those out of them. Yeah. Well, I think if you've got anybody who wants a pair of socks, but they're no wool socks, this is this is a great yarn to use. Um, we do have a pattern that we call sport socks, but they um, that doesn't refer to the weight of the yarn; just refers to what you might be doing when you're wearing them. Yeah. The yeah. Sporty. And uh, so, so we're using 2.25 millimeter needles with this yarn, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. So, so the pattern will get released in segments. It's not a mystery knit along; you know what you're going to be knitting. But she's going to be releasing the pattern, I think, over four consecutive weeks. Mm -hmm. so that, yeah. So, are you going to do one of each color? Well, I don't know. I think I think I'm I'm more likely to wear them if they're the same color. Oh, yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I was thinking that I would make, you know, uh, one for me and one for you. Ah, well, we could do so. Lucy Neepy and Kat Bordy have this great um, thing where they each buy a pair of shoes, and then because the, they wear the same size of shoes and they like the same kind of shoes, and then they mail one foot to the other so they have one purple and one blue and cats mm -hmm. wearing one blue and one purple and so maybe I think we, we do should that. do the same thing maybe we knit a pair in the same color but then exchange one yeah afterwards or just to you know so we don't have second sock syndrome oh we each knit a different color i see and then we gift the other color to the other person oh so then you'd end up with two of the same color mm -hmm. ah but oh, you knit one sure. and I knit one. Sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, oh, you mean we just end up with one pair of socks and we're done? And who gets them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we have two pairs of socks. Uh, but I'm just thinking, well, then I need to make sure that I know your foot size. Yeah, it's, it's just a little bit smaller than your mm -hmm. foot size. <laughs> I think actually you have the same size feet. You have a seven. No, seven and a half, sometimes oh, eight. Okay. So there you, right. there you go. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll take that offline, Kate, okay. and we'll <laughs> let you know what we decided. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. Sounds good. But this so is going to be does fun. So we knit along start? It starts um, September, I think it's the 1st of September. Right. So yeah. um, when, this, when this airs, uh, the pattern will be available, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll put a link to where you need to go to get all the information and get it along with us, which would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. All right. So I just noticed that um, before we get into the notion bags, I wanted to show somebody a special yarn that we haven't shown yet. Oh, you want to show somebody? Well, I wanted to show everybody okay. a yarn that we haven't shown anyone yet in the oh. store. Oh. Sort of like a sneak preview of what's to come. Wow. Because this one's really cool. Okay. 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 You haven't even seen this yarn. That's not surprising, actually. Okay. Our friends from Katia, which is a company in Spain, we got a few yarns from this fall. And this one was so neat, I couldn't refuse getting a little bit of it. This is interesting. It comes in a ball, and when you knit it up according Punch to their this. pattern, yeah, you get magic diamonds. So you get argyle straight off the ball. You don't have to plan it. You don't have to do duplicate stitch. You just knit it, and it ends up looking like this. 
What? This I know. Is crazy. This is so cool. So to check this out. So they have a pattern for a scarf, and you cast on the right number of stitches, and you knit, knit, knit. So you Here's have to your ball. Gauge. You have to make sure you get engaged. Right? Sort of, but they even tell you, you know, if you cast on the right number of stitches on the needle that they use, you're good to go. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's pretty amazing. Isn't that pretty amazing? So here's the ball of yarn. It's been manufactured exactly in the right way mm -hmm. to give you this. They also sell solids uh, so that you can crochet along the edge mm -hmm. um, because you're going to get some curling when you do you right. know, stocking that stitch. Right. Um, but we... Um, that's, 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 I know. that's just incredible. We just thought it was so neat. And so they have magic diamonds, and then they have magic diamonds flash. So this creates this. So it's kind is, of like a variegated with... Yeah, it's it's like... Um, like the diamonds have a variegation. It's not them. argyle anymore. It doesn't have the exact clear... It's got a flash around along the argyle. Well, well it looks it looks like it's still got the argyle, but that in in the, the solid has some variation in it. Yes. Oh, that's. Just, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's so German. I just love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so just a little bit different, you know. It's um, wow. magic diamonds flash. Whoa. So I know. when is this getting a Gonna you know, get out on the floor soon, and on the online store soon. You can't just show people and then not tell them when they can buy it. You know, everybody's gonna want this. Okay, well, I'm going on holidays. <laughs> oh, so oh, I'll so if that. I get it on the okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the way it's gonna be. That's really cool. Isn't it cool? Did you get lots Could, of this? I got lots of it. Okay, I couldn't resist because I just thought it was so neat. Yes, and so. <coughs> See, now I'm starting to cough. Mm -hmm. You get this cool pattern with it, too. So we'll send this to you. It's got a pattern for uh, a scarf. Um, I think there's a couple of different things in here. A sweater. Wow. Yeah. And is it? And it's in four languages, too. Yes, of course. So, so if, you know, if you like to read your patterns in Spanish or <laughs> German, because there are people who do, mm -hmm. That's it's really nice to have. So this... There's a uh, Spanish, mm -hmm. French, uh, Dutch, German, Italian, mm -hmm. English. Yeah. So there's yeah, Lots. and then it it also says here you're just pointing out here that there's um, some of these have videos. Yes, uh, it says here you can see the video showing how to work Magic Diamond Flash at yeah in the academy section. So you can go to Katya's website and look at videos. Yeah. There's crochet patterns in here. There's knit patterns. Mm -hmm. So a little bit for everybody. That's really cool. Isn't it cool? Yeah. yeah. This is, is this, is it wool? Is it acrylic? It's acrylic. Is it, it's acrylic. It's acrylic. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, but you know, I think that's the cool okay. thing about it is. The difference can, is that this is Spanish acrylic. It's very nice it's quality. Very nice. Yeah. And they can do so many things with it, right? Mm -hmm. It dyes up with with this precision. They have these machines that dye it in right down to the like you know quarter inch, no and that's yeah. how they're able to do this. You can't really do that with natural fibers the same way. Mm -hmm. So I just thought this was worthy of having <laughs> some fun with and playing with and getting amazing results. I think I think you're right. Without all I all agree. the work, I agree. So check that out uh, on our website, coming shortly. <laughs> <laughs> maybe after Barb gets back maybe. from vacation, yeah. maybe before. Sometimes when Barb goes away on vacation, I actually get time to work. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so these are really cool. These are really cool. Another local maker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this company is called Two Needles and Some String. Right. On Etsy, just two needles, some string, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some thread. Some thread? Yeah, I think two that's needles, it. some yeah. thread. <laughs> and um, these are really cool. So Sam and Deb are the creative geniuses behind these fabric. Mm -hmm. um, this is a mother-daughter team. Mm -hmm. Deb's the mom, Sam's the daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had talked to Sam at a trade show 
oh, months and months ago, and she was telling me how she was experimenting with clear vinyl. Yes. And we had some project bags in the past that had clear vinyl. We had these stadium totes, they right, were called. Right, right. And they were wonderful because you could take them to a hockey or a football game, and they were clear, you could see through them, and you weren't, you'd stopped at the, right. you know, at the security. You could go right in because everybody could see what was inside. Mm-hmm. And I thought, wouldn't this be a fun idea for a notions pouch yeah. where you could get, you know, you could see through what was it there. And so she's been perfecting this. This is Love not an this. easy thing to sew with. It's really quite um, challenging, but they've got it down now. And so she made us a series of notion um, zip bags. Where that you could use to put things in, mm-hmm. and she made us a series of project bags. So these are a classic little drawstring tote. They are beautiful. The fabric on the outside um, is wonderful, and the fabric on the inside is That's just gorgeous. as nice. So yeah. she's done an amazing job of uh, double lining these and finishing them with beautiful yeah. fabric on the inside as well. And I, I have to say, you know, I've got a lot of project base, but I sure do like the drawstring mm-hmm. pull. You know, your yarn doesn't get caught in the zipper. Um, it doesn't fall out, but you can you pull it close and, and have the yarn coming out of the top if you want to nip yeah. out of the bag. You can hang the yeah. drawstrings over your arm or your wrist. Cool. And so, yeah, it's just really handy. And, and then with this little uh, clear notions pouch on the outside. Yeah. You know, you can even put a little note in to say what's inside the bag. So this could be, you know, my Sylvia Kobasi sock knit along project. Right, right. And look at these fabrics. Yeah. So this one is one that has um, just like a regular pouch on the outside. You know, you may not want to show what's in your pouch. I don't know. So Mm -hmm. we we said, let's get both. Let's get the clear one and the fabric one. And we'll see what people like. Yes. This so we have one, a series of fabrics. There's some brights and some rainbow ones. There's this one's some, not going to last long. Yeah. There's some do, themes. Do, you know who's going to get that do, one. Do, and there's do, only do. one. But you told me you already had multiple Star Trek do, bags, and so do. you were going to let this go to some lucky participant, right? I you? will. I will. Now, these we... These we typically won't put on our website because there's only one of each fabric type. And um, so, right? What we've done is we put them up in <coughs> color families. So we have black bags in the blacks. So this, this is black. This is black. Um, or with a blue s- stripes. Or So we tried to give a sense of, okay. of what they look like. And then we do have photographs. Oh, wow. So I stand corrected. Yeah. Look at you for now. So we'll see. I, we don't know if they're repeatable or not. Mm-hmm. Um, Sam will tell us that. But this is kind of a really good sample. We have quite a few in this navy pinstripe, which I love. It's so nautical. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a beachy theme. Yeah. That's nice. And That's this really one nice. has the clear notions pouch on the bottom. Yeah. And so this is gorgeous. I'm going to have to get myself one yeah, of these. Yeah, are they fun? For sure. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And they're really reasonably priced. She makes this in their studio, and hopefully um, everyone will love them, and they'll sell out, and we'll mm-hmm. get more. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. All right. I think, I think that might be all the things for this week. I think so. Let's just talk about what you're wearing, because everybody always wants to know okay. what you're wearing. So what have you got on today? Classic Easy Folded Poncho by Church Mouse Yarns and Tees. Made out of? Felted Tweed by Rowan, right? my go-to kind of yarn. Yes. Yeah. And, and I've you? got on, uh, I think it's called uh, Around the Bend mm-hmm. by Nim Teasdale. This is a pattern on uh, Ravelry. And this one's done with Eden, our, yes. our in-house Eden. So it's one full skein of uh, Eden and then um, a, our, gradient a gradient pack. Yeah. And it's so nice to wear. It's mm-hmm. so warm. And then I've, I've just fastened it together with a brick bubble leather button. And these are really cool too. So there's a leather a leather um, facing at, uh, to it. And mm-hmm. then this little snap on there. So it just um, holds your garment together really nicely. Yeah. You can 
you can put it on like a button or like a brooch and yeah we go super brick bubble is a local local to us company mm -hmm. does and she makes all things. kinds of great things mm -hmm. check her out she has a website too and you can yep. order directly from her and we also uh, if you type brick bubble in our uh, search uh, window on our online store you'll see what we've got here mm -hmm. in the shop yeah yeah okay so Happy, uh, happy fall, everyone. This is, mm -hmm. this is, uh, maybe it's a little premature to say it's fall, but, uh, it sure feels like it here today, no. doesn't it? When I was driving to work today, mm -hmm. the trees are already changing. Yes. There's maple trees that are all, aren't green they're, anymore. They're, they're red. red and orange oh, and yellow. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. yeah. We have a beautiful place too, by where I live mm -hmm. on 97th Street. It has the most beautiful set of maple trees oh. along the road. Everybody yep. stops there to take pictures. Yeah, it's really unusual here in Edmonton. We're, we're sort of like the poplar birch evergreen place. So it's yeah. like green to yellow. Pine and, trees. Uh, we don't get all those other colors. So now that we've introduced some new trees into the environment, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So anything else? Did you... Do you have any seats left in Arnie and Carlos? Oh, yeah. Well, they're they're going. They're going really fast. There are a few. I think there may be a few seats left in the Christmas Falls workshop. And uh, and there are lots of seats left for the evening talk because mm -hmm. we're able to we're able to make that um, open. Nice, nice, nice number of seats on that one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you want to come and see Arna and Carlos, uh, that's uh, November 4th. They're doing their evening talk. And November 5th and 6th, they'll be teaching, um, for, hosted by us at the uh, Hilton Doubletree, really close to our come shop. Come and visit us in Edmonton. It'd be a great time to it, come and, yeah, yeah. and hang out for a bit. That's right. And book a few extra days on, on the beginning or the end and uh, and come and hang out with us here in the shop mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. All right. I think, yeah, that's, that's about it for yeah. now. Yeah. Okay, send us a note if you have any questions or Oh right. Yeah. yeah. What do you wanna what do you want people to comment on? Mm -hmm. Christmas knitting, what are you making? Are ah. you started yet? <laughs> so we had a I had a customer in the store who was uh, planning ahead and buying supplies to get started. Yeah. It's a great time to get going. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Um, Thanks for watching everybody. Yeah. Have a wonderful week and we will see you again. Have a wonderful month. See you in a few weeks.